Hi friends, welcome to my channel. A lot of students keep on asking me about the new syllabus of paper 1. They are really worried to see the new paper pattern and they don't know what is the new syllabus, how is it different from the old syllabus, how they should prepare for this particular exam, what are the books and resources they can use in order to prepare for paper 1. So I thought that why not make a video in which I can talk about all these questions and clear all the confusion that is going inside your head. So let's dive right into the topic and let me address all these questions one by one. So in order to answer all these questions, I've divided this video in three sections. In the first section, I'm going to talk about some important information in regards to paper one, which every net aspirant should know. In the second section, I'm going to compare the old and the new syllabus and highlight all the key differences as well as similarities in both these syllabus. And in the third section, I'm going to give you a book list as well as a list of other resources which you can use to qualify paper one in just 10 days. The first important thing that you should know about paper one is that it's a common paper. That means it's a general paper which everyone will give irrespective of their subject. There are 84 subjects in total uh, for UGC net and all students appearing for any of these subjects has to give paper one. Paper two is subject specific, paper one is general paper. The next important thing is the time limit. So you are given one hour in order to solve paper in which you will be getting total of 50 objective questions. The next important thing is that when you solve these questions, you will figure out that there are 10 units which form the syllabus and five questions are asked per unit. So total of 50 questions are asked. And the most important and fun fact about paper one is that there is no negative marking. So the students have the liberty of answering and guessing uh, answers because they don't have to worry whether they are going to lose any marks or not. Now let's look at the new syllabus and see how is it different from the old syllabus and why are students so much worried about this new change in pattern. Now if you look at the new syllabus, you will figure out that there are 10 units that they have listed. The same 10 units were listed even in the old syllabus. So if you look at the overall syllabus, then nothing has changed. Earlier also there were 10 units and the same 10 units are there this time as well. Now, if you look at the subtopics which are being given under each of these units, you will find out that some topics have been added in units like research, in units like logical reasoning and mathematical reasoning. Some units like teaching aptitude and uh, reading comprehension has remained same. Whereas some units, in some units you will find some additional topics have been added. And why this addition has taken place? Because now UGC net exam would be conducted in around seven days and in every day you'll have two shifts. So in total of 14 paper one they have to design. Now earlier the syllabus was limited so they had to only make one paper because the exam of net used to conduct on one day in one shift throughout the uh, were throughout the India but now they have decided to conduct this exam in a span of seven days and in two shifts. So because they have to design 14 papers they have to actually include certain other things so that they can get some other areas some other concepts from which they can design questions. Another interesting fact is that nothing as such has been deleted from any of the old syllabus topics. Old syllabus topics and subtopics remains the same in the new syllabus and additional of 10 to 15 percent things have been added. So you don't need to worry at all. If you've done previous preparation, you can prepare in the same line and just make some other notes on the new topics that have just been added. As far as the time duration is concerned, earlier paper one used to happen for 1 hour 15 minutes. They've reduced the time to 1 hour. Also, there was a point when paper one was a qualifying paper. You just need to get 40 marks so the, out of 100 so that your paper two will be checked and your net percentage was determined on the basis of how you score in paper two and paper three. Now paper three has been excluded. We just have two papers and your net score is calculated by combining marks of paper one and two both. So now paper one and two both becomes important. Another important thing that you need to know here is that earlier 
there were 60 questions in paper 1 in which the student was given a choice to attempt only 50. Now all the questions have become compulsory. So these are some new changes which has happened. You don't need to worry at all. Almost the paper pattern and the new syllabus remains the same and you can prepare the way you were preparing earlier. Just you need to keep in touch with the new syllabus topics. You need to include that in your preparation, in your notes and you are all sorted. Now I would like to talk about the most important books and resources which can help you to qualify paper one. Firstly, I would like to look at the most important resource that is previous year papers. Yes, guys, previous year papers are the most important thing for qualifying paper one. When I started my preparation for paper one, I went through a few books and I found that they are giving me so much irrelevant information, which is never asked in net exam. So what I did was that I went through the previous year papers and I charted out the list of topics that they are asking repeatedly and I only studied those topics from a particular book or from internet or from any YouTube video. So I would suggest you to follow the same strategy. You can go through the previous year papers and the topics which you find unfamiliar or the un questions which you are not able to answer correctly, be it from logical reasoning, mathematical reasoning or research, you can just make a list of those topics and then you can try to find out some important information, some important details about that topic from any good book. I would suggest you a book by Oxford publication. They have recently released a book which I went through and I found it really, really nice because what they've done is that they've smartly divided the entire book in 10 units and they've given a theory of that unit. Plus after theory, they have charted out all the previous year questions from that particular unit in a sequence. So you just need to go through those previous year questions and see which are the questions where you are facing problem. Most of the questions in paper one, you're going to find that they are very easy and they are based on common sense. You can easily answer them. So you don't need to work any uh, anything on them. Whereas where you need to work on the areas where you are lagging behind. So how would you work on those areas? You just need to get a list and then you can gradually start preparing notes. Now when it comes to note making, which uh, resources can you use for making notes? There are three important ways. One is any good guidebook. I would suggest you Oxford publication book is very good. Second, most important book that uh, you can use in order to prepare for paper one is Amar Ujala publication solved previous year papers. Now they have given you solutions as well as questions. So you don't need to go anywhere else. You can just read the question, answer it. If you don't answer it correctly, then you can read the solution written next to it. So it helps you to save time. Another important resource that you can use is YouTube. Now YouTube where you will find videos on almost every topic of paper one. There was a topic where I was not able to uh, understand a particular method to solve it. That was square of opposition. Now in, in order to solve this logical reasoning question, I refer to a lot of books, but no book could give me a particular way in which I can solve the question. Then I went through a few YouTube videos. I just wrote square of opposition. A few videos came uh, and I just watched those video one by one and then after 30 minutes i was so clear with this concept so youtube videos will be of great help they are free they are cheap and they can actually help you in a way books cannot and the final and the most important way you can get resource is through wikipedia and google so google can help you get definitions can get you help you get examples very easily you don't need to invest a lot of money buying notes for paper one or subscribing to some paper one video series or paper one online course paper one is a very general paper if you use your common sense if you use your brain if you are willing to work in a smart way you can nail it Okay, so what are the books you can use? You can use Amar Ujala publication, solve previous year paper and Oxford publications, UGC net paper one guidebook. When it comes to YouTube videos, you can use any YouTube video. You can subscribe to any channel which can help you in your paper one series. And if that's the case, why don't you subscribe to our channel? Because we provide you some really, really interesting and amazing videos on paper one and we try to 
teach you paper one topics in a very simple and lucid manner you can find crash courses on almost all units of paper one in my channel so if you've not yet subscribed i think you should give it a thought and when it comes to the online websites which can help you so i think that's that depends upon people to people a student might understand the definition better from wikipedia another student might understand the definition better from uh, britannica's encyclopedia so that depends upon which language excites you which language you can understand and which kind of uh, what kind of pattern and what kind of example excites you so these are some good books and resources which you can use for paper one preparation that's it for this video lecture we'll meet very soon with another exciting video till then Keep watching arpatakarva.com.